Hello everyone, welcome back for more. And look at the Game Boy's first year releases. A retrospective. Ford and Timber 2022. So today we have Quirk with a subtitle of He's Amazing. Because, well, a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of mazes are about to be in front of us. There are two modes to this game. The main one being the one I'm going to show off today, which is kind of like the full-on puzzle mode. And Quirk there is running through all the practice modes. This isn't me. This is, this is the game. Why it did this this way, I don't know. Oh well, anyway. Let, let's show off Kirk, because the only thing he does, the controls are very simple. You move him with the D-pad and push things around. That's it. The mode you saw there was heading out. Let's take a look at it. We'll do easy just because. Let's, let's say the tin room course. Diagonal view. So the main goal here is just to get to the other side of the other side of the place in however little or as much time as it takes you. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see a lot of options for me in this level. I really don't. You know, these are somewhat advanced for easy. There we go. So you get the idea now. You have rotators. You have blocks. You will have holes for the blocks. Some of these are much simpler than others. So, let's see. So, let's see, what do we need to do? I gotta move that over two spaces, it looks like. Yep. Not exactly tricky, that one. Let's, uh, redo that. Do that the easy way, instead of trying to figure out a thing the hard way. So... If I move that over... And let's see here... I am known very well to just overthink things, so let's, um, let's redo that because I didn't mean to get back. Let's 
So yeah, I was overthinking things, and that that happens with this game. There we go. So now going up is the main game. We're, we're gonna stay on the easy because I would actually like to complete a few of these puzzles. So what we've got to do is get to the other side. You just have to flip the uh, rotators around. I will not solve any of these in record time or record steps or anything like that. Do not expect me to. But I actually do really like this game. I hadn't played it before now, before today, really. But I think this is a, uh... Whew, can you on? I think this is a perfectly serviceable little puzzle game. This I can easily see killing off a car ride or two. Which was really all we ever expected Game Boy games to do in the first place. Especially by this point in time in the uh, game's existence. Sinking the block into the hole. Easy enough. I will probably only worry about clearing out one, um, one room. One set of ten is going to be the main... <clears throat> going to be my main focus. It'll be over soon. I'll probably show off a couple of level two, because level two actually does get difficult. And now we have a friend. Why do we have a friend? That we can switch between at any point in time? Because it allows us to do things like this. Notice how there's no way to get this block down because it's always going to touch a wall. Easy enough. So yeah, simple little puzzle game. Least complicated controls, and good god do I have to yawn for some reason today. Least complicated controls I can ever imagine. Start there. Okay, this one is much easier than it looks, I would imagine. just need things out of the way, correct? Yeah. That annoys it. I don't think that's the way to do it either. Because the trick is to get un the trick is to get out through the top there. Let's just start over. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Note I said I like this game. Never said I was good at it. Eh, let's see. Do I actually 
actually have up? Yes, I do. Hang on. I see what I did. I see what I did that made this whole thing go awry. People are screaming at me because they see the uh, they see the solution. So let's see if I can do this. Probably not. I can't get that out of the way, though. Nowhere else for that to go. Fair enough. Let's see. What's the easiest way to get out of this? can retrace some steps. Although I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Is it really going to be this easy? No, it's not. Okay. Okay. I thought I could move that block up, but no, I can't get to the bottom. I can't get to the other side of that block. can get that out of the way, just like that. No. I only have one choice, and that's to move this. So if I push that left, it blocks me out completely. I know I'm overthinking this, you don't need to let me know that. And I'm blocked again. This is only why I'm, this is why I'm only doing one floor, period. Just one. That's it. I don't want to do any more than this. Because this is truly one of those things that shouldn't be this much of a problem, but it is. So let's see. Hmm. Let's try that again. Eh, eh. Like I was doing before, we do that. Let's move you down here. Oh, that, that's what I was doing this whole time. Right there. Right there. I had the answer all in front of me. I am embarrassed now. I am very embarrassed. Why was I not seeing that? I don't know. I like this game. Don't get me wrong. 
Okay, this seems fairly obvious. This seems fairly straightforward, which means it's not. Okay, so... It is that straightforward, okay. Sometimes it's exactly as straightforward as that. It, this looks like it's gonna be complicated. It shouldn't be, but it looks like it will be. Let's see. Okay, you can't just take the same path. Got it. Keep it flipped. Okay. That leaves us in the same spot as before. There we go. That was a lot easier than I think it was. That's ten floors. Let's, let's show how much more difficult it gets on floor two. If I recall right, floor two focused more on the massive pits we had to fill in than it did just rotators. Okay, this I need to do that. That one can't go any more further that way. Fine. It's got no way to get any further. Got it. But the other one does. I think that's exactly where I want that one. I know this is close to what I want. Now if I can...
Nope, I have to do this the other way. Okay. As in, I have no choice. I've got to do it this way. This is so close to what I actually want. Let's take this back. First, we can get that one completely out of the way. Let's see. Sometimes you just have to reset the puzzle to get it to back the way you need it. That's all there is to it. One more level, and I think that'll do it. Ah, this level. That this level is not exactly great. So let's see. If I can remember what I had to do... thing is dealing with you. Yeah, I think that's where I wanted to put it. And we've got another one here that can follow in its footsteps. That block is completely useless. This one needs to go with us. I'm pretty sure I need to put it right there. Okay, the main crux of this puzzle, I believe, is done. This three block over here is completely useless.
And there we go. That one, for some reason, is fairly easy for me. Because I can kind of see the... I need to, I see which piece I need to do when. Okay, this one. The goal is to create a four strip right down the middle. That, that's what the goal is. So... Okay, so now we have all the blocks where we need them. One more. I'll, I'll do one more. Why not? Okay. So, the thing is, we need this piece up here to go down here and fill up that. However, to get there... got to fill out a few places here. marks a good stopping spot because it's going to we're at a half hour or really close to it but yeah if if you like puzzle games like this give this one a try it has my full seal of approval even though this is a kind of if i'm not mistaken they released this on other consoles and it had more options and such so i give those a try too seems like a good idea to me but yeah, we, we have a really good game, really solid little puzzle game. It, it's still kind of rudimentary, much like Super Mario Land or Tetris or Shanghai is, but they, um, they, they meet the mark for a puzzle game. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. So, until tomorrow, take care everyone. See you later.